What's going on guys? It's your boy Matt Edwards and in today's new video, I thought I would bring something new to my channel because I've never filmed a video like this before. Not that it's super new because a lot of YouTubers do this, but it's new to my channel because I've never filmed it before. But I wanted to do a monthly favorites video. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today to share with you guys the great things that I bought this month or got this month because I got a lifetime of knowledge. So <laughs> yeah um mm, sorry i i've been away from youtube for a while and that was a that was a she's the man reference so yeah if you've never seen she's the man you wouldn't you wouldn't know that all right <laughs> roll the beep what's going on guys it's your boy matt edwards and in today's new video i have been a little mia from youtube for a bit because i've been trying to figure out what direction I want to do, like where, what I want to do with my YouTube channel. And I know a lot of YouTubers have done something like this before, and I kind of wanted to bring it to my channel to kind of share things that I either received this month from PR or things that I purposely bought this month. Just instead of doing like a haul, which is just like fashion related, I feel like there's a lot of other products that I either personally use or companies send me that I end up using. So that is kind of what today's video is going to be. I'm really going to try to do this video monthly. Um, that is my hope that it will help me be more consistent with YouTube. And then in between these monthly videos, I can do other styling videos and stuff like that. But yeah, that is going to be today's video. If you guys enjoy today's video by the end of the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that really helps out the channel. And if you love the video by the end of this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that also helps out the channel as well. Um, and without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so first things first, I thought I would talk about wellness. And one of the first items that I have on here is actually um, a CBD oil. I've recently started using CBD kind of like in January, but more recently, like last month and this month. And I use it a lot for my anxiety. I really, I don't know when I developed anxiety, but especially with this panorama and just everything going on, the world is so different. So I feel like this has just like helped relax my anxiety a lot. It hasn't been like medicine or like the magic cure for me, but I normally use it a lot before I go to bed. I'll use two drops before I go to bed and then I also put two drops in my tea. One of my biggest problems is that I overthink right before I go to bed and this really helps just like calm me down, keep me chill. And yeah, I feel like that really helps me before I go to bed. So I would recommend CBD. I would definitely recommend if you haven't heard of CBD or you've heard a little bit about it, do your research first. I did a ton of research before I really got into it and then I really like this brand. Again, this is the Tropical Tornado. This is from the, I got it online from the brand Honest. I don't know if it's specifically Canadian or what, but I really like this brand. I found that I really like flavored CBD. There are other CBDs that aren't flavored and they kind of taste dutty, but I really like this one. So I would recommend that to you. I would definitely recommend doing your research first, but yeah, I love CBD so far and I would try it if you have anxiety, things like that. But also if you need further help, I would definitely talk to a recommended medical professional before just going to CBD or anything like that. Just a disclaimer and put that out there. Okay, so second, uh, we're gonna go a little bit into skincare. Recently, um, a brand called East 29th sent me their Vital Serum. They sent it actually a couple months ago and I never really got into it because I didn't really know how to properly use it, I would say. I have started using it into my morning routine and I really like it. There's a lot of really great ingredients for skin that is in it. Um, I mean, it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, uh, lemon, rye extract, and vitamin C. Uh, and I feel like vitamin C plus vitamin E is one of its main like nutrients that it gives. But yeah, it really just brightens up. It really just brightens up my skin. And that is what I love about it the most. I'm wearing it right now. Don't know if you can tell. I really like the East 29th. I've been using it for most of the month, like a couple weeks, and I've really seen a difference in how bright my face is. I typically have good skincare. My skin doesn't really go out of whack because I use the same skincare <laughs> every single day, and I'm really good with my routine. And I'm also coming out with a nighttime routine video soon, sneak peek. But yeah, I would say if you are looking for something to kind of like 
brighten up your skin or really just add some more care to your skincare routine i would definitely try out e29 uh it's really good and basically the way it works is it's a serum i thought that you just use a serum and nothing else but it works great if you use the serum and then put a moisturizer on afterwards so just a tip that's how i use it and it really works for me so next thing i'm going to talk about is cologne that i got it is from paco raben um it is their one million perfume or cologne and i really love it i'm not really going out anywhere right now so like <laughs> i'm not <laughs> using it that much to be honest i'm kind of saving it for when the world opens up again and i can actually go outside but it smells really good. I had a couple other influencer friends that received it. I think I got it for the holidays. So I haven't really like used it a lot this month, but it was something that I wanted to bring to your attention as well because it's just another product to use kind of like in your daily. I know a lot of us aren't really going out right now to really benefit from perfumes and colognes and things like that. But as a cologne, I definitely recommend this one. Like it's super good. Um, and even the couple times that I have used it, I've got a couple compliments from like friends or <laughs> yeah, and they really like it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. It's a really good clothes. So moving from products, um, I want to share some of the things, some of the clothes that I bought this month. Um, the first purchase that I'm going to show is probably one of my favorites. It is this green Alpha Industries bomber jacket. Um, I absolutely love this. I have the black bomber jacket and for spring I was just like I'm obsessed with the color green right now. So for spring I was like man like I really just need to add this green Alpha Industries bomber jacket to my wardrobe because I feel like I'm just gonna get a lot of use out of it especially wearing it with um, these new shoes that I got that I will show in a second. But yeah I'm absolutely obsessed with this jacket. It's a little it's not a lot but it's a little oversized so that's what I love about it the most. I can just like throw it on and kind of go. I would definitely recommend checking out this bomber jacket. I know a lot of people, I feel like it's something that was in fashion a while ago. So other people might have different versions of it already, but yeah, I super love this jacket. I feel like it's super dope and very like streetwear vibe. Another jacket that I got that I've never really had before um, is this trench coat. I got this trench coat from Zara. And right now trench coats, I don't know if you've seen them on your feed specifically, but I feel like trench coats are trending right now. Um, I've seen a lot of other like bloggers or just a few celebrities wear them with like streetwear as well. Um, I wore it the other day with kind of like a full gray sweatsuit and New Balances and then just a New York Yankees baseball hat. And it looks really dope. Like I love the fit. So I went ahead and got this trench jacket from Zara just because I myself got influenced to get it. It's super close to like an overcoat that a lot of, a tan overcoat that a lot of people would wear in the winter. So it's a similar version of that, but it's just more lightweight. I like the way it kind of like droops. It just looks very chill and I love that vibe. Definitely reminds me of like London or like Europe vibes, but I'm glad that I'm got it and i'm looking forward to see how i can style it as well not just with the gray sweatsuit but with different things that i have definitely recommend getting a trench suit it is definitely on the rise or just like spring trends right now and a lot, i feel like a lot of people will be wearing it so that is one thing to get next thing on here is i'm very very excited that i got this i actually went ahead and got a finally got a moma hoodie um, I've been obsessed with Momo hoodies for a while because I've been seeing a lot of people wearing it on some Instagram inspiration pages that I follow. I've just seen a lot of people with similar style to me like style it. So I was like, wow, like, I need this hoodie. And I actually wanted to buy it for Black Friday, but it's been sold out since I think the last week in February, which is when it was sold out. So I got it kind of recently. Super comfy. I mean, it's literally just a gray champion hoodie. So it's not that different from like a lot of other hoodies. And I don't know, I just kind of got influenced to get it because I really <laughs> just wanted it. And yeah, I love wearing it. I would probably wear it with the green bomber jacket that I have and just cargos. And yeah, it's a really dope fit and super comfy and a good kind of transition piece as well as spring gets warmer, but it's still kind of cold. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting that. Another couple items that I got as well as I went thrifting this month and I just got two Harley Davidson tees. I really like this one as well because it has gray on the front, but then it has some color on the back. 
So like even this, I could wear it with my Jordan 1 shadows. So yeah, I have been wanting a Harley Davidson tee for a while. I don't know if that's kind of random, but I've just seen a lot of people like wear them. It's such like a chill t-shirt you could wear. And there's so many different variations of Harley Davidson tees. Like I love that I got this kind of plain one, but like there's so many different graphics that you could get that are Harley Davidson. So I think that is super dope and I'm excited to style those in the summer, especially wearing them with shoes. Speaking of shoes, I just got this item in. I actually just got this item in today and I've been dying to get it because I am just gonna wear these shoes all spring. I got these retro Jordan 1s. They are the black and whites. These are actually from 2008. So they are kind of like old school ones, but I recently got into Jordan 1s. I recently bought the shadows uh, and I really like these. I feel like the black and white will be a good vibe for spring and there's a lot of different things or like colors that i can wear it with with this kind of being not like a neutral but just kind of like black and white like kind of plain i'm excited to style these and wear them i really am just obsessed with these like my idea is to put the black laces on them because i did want to get i think there's another version of these that are from 2014 or 2016 and they're just mad expensive. Like Jordan 1s can be mad expensive. So I got these full off the Go app for a lot cheaper than the 2014 ones. And yeah, I am obsessed with you. I'm gonna wear these a lot and I just can't wait to start styling them already. I think it's crazy that I got them today, like literally two hours before I started filming this video. So bless. Uh, next thing I got that is on here is I actually bought this t-shirt. It is just a Kobe Bryant t-shirt. I got it from a friend of mine off Instagram, Lorenzo, his brand called Art Brand Co. And yeah, it's just like um, a Kobe Bryant tee. I love that it kind of looks like the, like the airbrush. If you're from the area of Toronto and you've been to Wonderland, it just reminds me of those kind of like airbrush things that you could buy. I just love this tee. I feel like I'm gonna wear this more in the summer. I just had to support the homie and super glad that it finally came this far. All right, so moving on, uh, I actually got two new pairs of pants. First one that I wanna show, cause I think this is really dope. I got some mixed reviews on it, but I got these kind of, I think they're kind of like carpenter pants, like workwear pants, but they're denim. They're kind of baggy, but I just love the dark wash to them. I, when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with this dark navy blue. I think this is kind of like indigo wash and then I kind of fell off of it for a while because it just became too populated and it was everywhere. So I really fell off of that and gravitated more like to the other side, which is light wash denim and either dark denim or black denim. Uh, so this is definitely in the middle and I can't wait to style these. I feel like these would look great. Like my vision for these is just wearing them with like white Air Forces and then a white t-shirt, kind of basic, but also this will really pop out of that. But even, I could even wear them with the Jordan 1s that I just got. Uh, I could even wear them with the MoMA hoodie. I love these. I got them from the brand Jaded online. It's a European brand, but I've seen a lot of people that I follow shop Jaded recently. Shout out to Noel, he just did a brand collab with them. So that's kind of like how I've been seeing it online. I bought it and one, it came so quickly, but two, I really like the fit of them. Like they are kind of, they are baggy, which is the vibe and the look right now. I really am excited to style them and I'm sure you'll see them on my gram soon. Matt R. Edwards, if you're not already following me, I'll do a little pop thing here. I also popped a baggier pair of black denim jeans. I got these ones from Zara and to be honest, I've been shopping at Zara a lot recently. I haven't really shopped in or at Zara, I feel like before the Panorami. So after the Pythagorean Theorem, I've just been shopping there a lot. And yeah, these are just another pair of like baggy black denim. I love that baggier fits are kind of the vibe right now. I don't know if that has to really do with the Pythagorean Theorem and just people being more comfortable and wearing sweats and things like that. But yeah, I love these. I feel like I styled them on my Instagram not too long ago, but yeah, I just needed a pair of baggier. I had slim, no one wears skinny jeans anymore, 
Um, that doesn't even have to do with Gen Z. Like, I don't feel comfortable that much wearing skinny jeans unless I am dressing up. But I had slim jeans and they just weren't baggy enough. Like, I really wanted these to go over the Jordan 1s. The slim jeans weren't doing that. So I bought these and these do that and I love them. So these are a big, big cop. But yeah, guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoy me doing more monthly content. I will hopefully be doing more content in between these monthly favorites. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it does help out the channel. If you are looking for links for everything that I got this month or interested in possibly adding them to your cart, you can check out the description below. I'm going to be making a blog post and I'll be linking everything there. If you're ever interested in checking out any style or fashion tips or even health and fitness or even just want to listen to some Spotify playlist and check out some new music you can always check out my blog that's mattredwards.com that is mattredwards.com again and that's where you guys can check out any of my content if you guys want to keep up on me and my socials you can also check out my instagram that's matt r edwards you can check out my twitter that's matt r edwards you can check out my facebook youtube and tiktok that is all matt r edwards are we seeing a trend here but yeah, that is where you can find me. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will check you guys out for another video hopefully soon. Okay, peace.